goals. You achieve goals, right? You achieve goals. A goal is something we control. You can write that down. A goal is something we control. Pretty simple. A goal is something we control. Otherwise, it's simply a wish or a dream. Well, what the heck do we control? Because if a goal is something we control, it has to be controllable, right? There's only three things that we control. Our perceptions, our perceptions, whether you think there's a poisonous snake beside your foot or there actually is, you react the same. We control our perceptions. You can make a mountain out of a molehill or a molehill out of a mountain. Your perceptions of yourself, your perceptions of the world around you, your perceptions of an experience that you're having, a circumstance or situation you might find yourself in. We control our perceptions. The next thing that we control, out of only three things, are our decisions. Our decisions. Our decisions. And the final thing we control, of only three, is our actions. That's it. We don't control anything else. You don't control what's going to come out of Donald Trump's mouth next. Who wishes they could? Right? <laughs> you, don't, you don't control what anybody else is going to do. But you control your perceptions, you control your decisions, and you can control your actions, right? So what's this whole thing about? When we talk about actions, well, we, we have this structure, there's a framework, right? There's a process that we go through. Your life, as I said before, is a creation of the past version of you. Health, wealth, relationship, the whole the box of dice wasn't created by the current you, it was created by the past you. That person, get this, believed certain things about themselves and the world around them. And because they believed certain things, not you, but a person maybe looks a bit like you, similar hairstyle, maybe similar clothes, they believed certain things and so they started thinking a certain way. Makes sense, right? Our beliefs inform our thoughts, perceptions. Then what happens is because we think a certain way, we start creating feelings, right? So I think this, so now I feel that, right? And because we feel the way we do, I feel like doing this, I don't feel like doing that. I know I should do this, but I feel like watching Netflix. I know I should be eating salad, but I feel like eating pizza. Whatever it is, right? Our feelings, right, give us our decision filter, our decision framework. All of the decisions we make, generally speaking, are based on feelings. We could argue that we're logical creatures, but we're not. So our beliefs give us our thoughts, our thoughts give us our feelings, our feelings create all, go th they, are, they are the, the driver, if you will, for all the decisions that we make in our life. Decisions are the second thing we really control. It's the decisions that we make that lead to the action that we take, right? You're not taking an action for any other reason other than you decided to take that action. And an action repeated over and over again, who knows what we call those? Habits, right? And you are living in the result, the outcome of the habits that you've been keeping. So if you want to change your outcome, your life experience, if you want to change the experience, you've got to change your habits. I don't know if you've ever tried using willpower for that, but that's temporary at best, right? So I'm gonna run every single day and I'm only gonna eat healthy and then it's raining and you're like, ooh, maybe I'll just get some chips and watch a movie, right? <laughs> Your power is temporary at best. So you gotta look at, where does this all come from? Where does it begin? It begins with our beliefs. We believe certain things, we think certain things, we feel a certain way, we make certain decisions and then take actions repeatedly over time. Those actions are what we call our habits. So what do you believe to be true about you and your image? And I said before about deserving. Every single person here has developed themselves in such a way where they now believe that this is natural for them. We have clarity first, clarity develops into certainty, and from certainty, we start to expect things. We have an expectation. It's only once we get to expectation that things occur. You ever caught yourself saying, oh, I just knew that was gonna happen? What does that mean? It means you expected it was gonna happen, right? Get yourself worked up into a frenzy where you're like, uh, of course I get to travel to all my dream destinations. Uh, of course I make $100,000 a month. It would be weird if I didn't. It would be weird if I didn't. What do you expect to have happen? Because those expectations is most likely what's been limiting you. So this weekend, beyond anything else, is about what is it that you fear doing most? Is it positioning? Maybe it's positioning your business. I remember when I came to events, I was like, oh my gosh, there's so much, how am I gonna do this? And it's the people that commit and make those decisions that you see up here having these conversations. It wasn't like we lacked fear. It wasn't like we lacked fear, we just knew what we wanted. We had clarity and then we had certainty and we just expected. I'm gonna do this and fully commit to getting people's attention. I'm gonna to commit to doing the simple little things every day. And because I do the simple things every day, we get the rewards. There's no reason why you can't be standing up here sharing your story at the next Supercharged Summit. 
There's no reason why you can't be doing that. Every single one of you in the room has the potential to do that. You're sitting inside of what is mathematically and historically, numbers don't lie, the best business model in this space, in this niche. You're very lucky for that. You're also extremely lucky to be in this room with such great minds and great people this weekend. But remember when Monday comes, it's not what you went through this weekend, it's what you do on Monday that makes your life the reality you want to create. That's all it is, that's all it comes down to. So, um, I'm gonna give you a, a couple little books to read that I think are really important in this space. One book is called A Happy Pocket Full of Money, A Happy Pocket Full of Money, okay? That book is phenomenally deep and it's written by a guy, David um, uh, Cameron Bukhani. He, he was originally born in Kenya in a pretty rough time in Kenya um, and he turned his life into a masterpiece. And his work on our uh, belief structures creating our realities is, is pretty it's pretty powerful, it's pretty awesome. He's studied from a lot of really cool people and he's put a lot of great stuff in that book. So a happy pocket full of money is gonna help you work on your image of self so that you're not limited by that in your journey to the top here um, at Mo. The other book, which is a bit more, um, uh, like, it's, it's older, right, it's a classic, it's called Born Rich by Bob Proctor, Born Rich. The reason I want you to know that is your natural state is to be wealthy. That's your natural state. It's only what you've been doing to hold yourself back from there that may have been not in that position just yet. But that was a past version of you. Remember what the new version of you does. And the final book is a tactical book. It's very practical and tactical. It's called The 12 Week Year. The 12 Week Year by Brian P. Moran and Michael Lennington. That book is gonna help you take advantage of what you've been given here at the Supercharged Summit this weekend and take massive action in your business by following those four power questions, by being clear on the get people's attention stuff, by understanding the difference between the effort and the value-based economy. That book will give you literal templates. It's a system for taking massive action in your life and achieving and accomplishing in 12 short weeks what some people fail to accomplish in 12 months. The 12-week year. 12-week year. year. All right, cool. Guys, with that said, I want to say this. I've given you a lot of little pieces, little, little jigsaw pieces, and over the rest of this weekend, I want you to put them together. Look, pay attention for every pack your bag moment. Pay attention to the stuff that goes on your personal action list. Pay attention for asking and answering those four questions. Start doing, do more of, do less of, stop doing all together. Start really looking at implementing what it is that I've said here so that when Monday comes. Hey, who here knows what tomorrow is? What tomorrow is? Well, tomorrow is the busiest day of the week. You know why? Everything gets put off till tomorrow. Right? So I'll do that tomorrow. I'll take care of that tomorrow. What you do today, what you do today is what's going to shape your future. Yeah, what you do today. So don't hesitate. Don't hover around. You're in a room full of great minds. Take on board absolutely everything that gets shared with you today because as I just said on my video, right? Today is the youngest that you'll ever be. If you don't do this now, when? When? It's your opportunity to step up and turn your life into a masterpiece. We weren't always where we are today. I don't know a single human being that was born knowing how to make money on the internet. Didn't exist when I, when I was born. I don't know anyone that was born knowing how to tie a shoelace, drive a car, ride a bike. Everything that you guys do in your current lives today, you take for granted. At one point, you and I, we, need, we didn't know how to do any of that stuff. But it took practice, it took discipline, and it took some courage. So if you're willing to take that step up, if you're willing to be committed to doing the simple things every day in your business, 12 months from now, whatever the next Supercharge event is, whatever the next Masterminds are, and I look forward to meeting you at those events, I'm gonna be able to celebrate with you the results that you achieved and accomplished by implementing what you got here this weekend. Thanks for your attention.